Artie from Glee is played by an actor who's this like <laughs> incredible dancer, which feels very ironic to me. I get it when you're like casting a big name so that the show or the movie is getting more reviews or you have like a name behind it, but this kid I think was an unknown. I appreciate that the show is trying to promote diversity by having a disabled character like Artie, but I think he could have possibly been handled in a little bit more of a sensitive way. So he's having some sort of like a dream of sorts where he's dancing in the mall. I mean, you can dance in a wheelchair. I think they were trying to show how much he wants to be like how he was before he became disabled, and that's real. But I don't think portraying that through a dance sequence <laughs> um, where he's suddenly so sad to be back in his chair again and he's back to being disabled again. I don't think that is the right way to show that. I'm picturing every kid at home who has a disability who watched that and was like, feeling like, sh should I be dreaming about not having this or should I be wishing that I don't have this instead of how do I love what makes me me? And I think it would have been a lot more powerful to maybe show him going through a arc where he reaches self-acceptance and self-love rather than trying to change his circumstances. You know, he plays guy in wheelchair. Guy in wheelchair wants to walk. Ooh, what a shocking story arc. It doesn't offend me anymore. I just feel like it's lazy writing. If they had a writer or, or maybe somebody there with the experience that Artie has, that scene would have been treated differently. Hi, Becky. Yeah. About Friday night. Are you excited? Well, I kind of thought Becky was the Band-Aid. Becky was them being like, we messed up. We messed up the first time around. I think any casting of any disabled actor, I am all for it. I loved Becky from Glee. I love her. She is a character uh, with Down syndrome, who also has Down syndrome in real life. And her character was dynamic and funny and sometimes a bitch, and I loved that. Sometimes people with disabilities are bitches. Sometimes I'm a bitch. Uh, it just felt authentic and real. I don't think we should date. Is it because I'm too intimidating? Oh, I love her. Yeah. Okay, so this plays into a whole nother thing. Whole nother, whole other, doesn't matter. People with disabilities date, but we don't always have to date people with disabilities. Augie, I'm sorry, but you're not the only one who has bad days. Bad days? Do people avoid touching you? When a person accidentally touches you, do they call it the plague? So I just watched Wonder, and I wanted to love it, and I really struggled with the movie. I'm glad that they validate the struggle of going through an experience like disability that is so isolating. It's difficult feeling like an outsider. I remember being like, please give another kid the award. Please give another kid the award. We shouldn't just be getting awards for basically living our life. I won a character award when I was in high school. I was like, what? <laughs> this is sort of the same thing. Yay, you're different. I don't know. I think it's a little bit tricky to have a disabled character that gets like an award because they're disabled, but I, I love that it's more because of the courage and the heart that they have. Inspiration porn. This is inspiration porn. Everyone's brave. We're all doing things that scare us, disability or otherwise. Like, I am not to be pitied. I'm here, and I'm hard to kill. How's it coming in there? Fine. RJ Mitty, all good, yay. For me, Walter Jr. is a perfect example of a character that represents the community. He's an incredible actor, he's incredible. And I don't say an incredible actor with a disability, he's just an incredible actor. I was just really excited. I remember watching the show for the first time and hearing about his being cast and that he has cerebral palsy and I have cerebral palsy. I've never seen, this was the first actor that I have seen of my age <laughs> that I've, gotten to watch. Oh, this is from the pilot. Oh yeah, I remember this as a kid. Huh? I feel that. Do you want me or your Getting cat? stuck in a dressing room. Oh, it's the worst. Yeah. And I remember that too when I first became an amputee. Like it wasn't, it wasn't like it was uh, easily readily available for me to get dressed or how to figure it out, how to get dressed. This is actually something that's similar to happen, you know, with me in terms of finding coats and stuff. I don't know, in a, in a super teeny tiny way, it's very, very silly, but I love that we have similar 
hands somehow, or we move similarly. I don't know. I just think that's very cool. You don't see that. I don't. I, I or I don't see that very much. I don't know. I would just watch him and be like, we move similarly. We kind of we get through similar situations. It's validating. It's three dimensional. We see this kid as part of a family, as part of his world, and his storyline again isn't just disability. <laughs> You're hiding, huh? <laughs> I know that. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Arnie from What's Eating Gilbert Grape, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. I loved this movie as a kid, but I rewatched it as an adult and I struggled with how they justified having Leonardo DiCaprio play a kid with a disability. Well, it's like watching old World War II films that are completely racist and you're just like, wow, the way they represent this, these group of people and that, it, it's insulting. I do agree. I think it's definitely a product of its time. And I think we're still kind of working on trying to figure out what's like acceptable in terms of like who should we cast to play certain roles. Doctor said we'd be lucky if Arnie lived to be 10. Doctor said we'd be lucky if Arnie lived to be 10. It's clear that he's not gonna die by 10. Um, so they like start the movie out with some pretty big misconceptions. People assume disability means shorter lifespan, and I think things like this don't help that narrative. This character is sort of served up on a platter for able-bodied viewers of being like, feel bad for this family, for having this kind of child. I'm guilty of being a dwarf. You are not on trial for being a dwarf. Oh. I've been on trial for that my entire life. Yeah, there it is, Tyrion Lannister, that's the shit. I have such a crush on this man, such a crush on this man. There's a lot of things with Tyrion that I relate to almost immediately. So, so often we see little people being cast in the role of like comedic, the, the comedy role, uh, enough with the lollipop guild. I love that this is a drama, that there's more to his storyline. I love how intelligent he is and how conniving he is, and he's so funny. That is exactly the representation that you're looking for. That kind of uh, validity, that kind of uh, understanding of what a community's going through, that's the thing that we're talking about. So often, the storyline around someone with a disability is disability. <laughs> like, that's the storyline. Uh, and I think when they cast someone who actually has a disability, almost always we get a more dynamic story. When I first became an amputee, I'd watch YouTube videos on above and below knee amputees running or swimming. And it made me feel like I could have a life. If I could see someone who looks like me and is an amputee, that would mean the world to me. Like, that would be so amazing. Like, growing up, I never really had a movie. Like, I, I, I don't even remember if there were movies made about disabled people when I was growing up. Forrest Gump and then, uh, Hunchback and Notre Dame. Those were the only two that I remember. We want to be able to watch our stories and relate to them and not sort of cringe and go, okay, well, this wasn't exactly written for us. It was written, inspire other people. We want to be inspired. We want to be inspired by our own gifts and our own talents and our own stories and struggles and everything else. Like, you know, everybody else gets the privilege to go to a movie and see themselves. So I think we're making great steps as of right now, but I think we can go a little bit further in including more people with disabilities in those stories.